Hey guys, would you like to upgrade your Ender 3 Pro or Ender 3 to an Ender 3 V2 essentially? I'll show you how to do it. I'm even going to show you how to do the firmware. I'm going to include links to the firmware and we'll get to it right after this. <laughs> Reality 4.2.7 Sonic Board Kit that also includes the V2 display. This is sold by First Layer. I uh, ordered it on Amazon. I'll post a link down in the description for you guys to get that. So let's go ahead and unbox this. So in the box we get a version 4.2.7 main board. We get the mounting bracket for our version two screen. We get a new ribbon cable and we also get the screen for the Ender 3 uh, Pro version two. And we'll go ahead and get that installed now. So guys, we'll go ahead and get this installed. So the first thing I'm gonna do is unhook my ribbon cable from the back of my screen. I'm going to take loose these two front screws. Set that aside. We're going to open up our bracket that came with our screen. You're going to have three screws. You can get them in camera there three screws you're gonna have three sets of t-nuts and you're gonna have the mounting bracket itself for the screen now in order to mount this we want to make sure that we set the mount in this orientation we want to make sure it's not backwards because if it's backwards then the screen won't fit in correctly so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my T-nuts and my screws. I'm going to go ahead and insert my T-nuts into the back of this bracket, or I'm sorry, my bolts, and get my T-nuts started. Try and keep it in frame here so you guys can see what's going on. Now that I have that done, I'm just going to simply slide this into position where it goes in the frame and tighten my screws. And we'll go ahead and take our new screen and slide it into position. The next thing we're going to do is take our ribbon cable and go ahead and plug it in. So now that you've guys seen the installation, I'm going to show you how to do the firmware. Now I'm going to link a Google Drive down in the description which is going to have all the firmware you're going to need. Now if you use the purchase link that I've included down below in the description, this is going to be plug and play for your Ender 3 Pro. So if you order the kit that has the 4.2.7 motherboard, the silent motherboard, and then the color screen for your Ender 3 Pro which essentially is what makes it a V2 minus your belt tensioners and stuff like that. It is going to be 100% plug and play. It will come ready to go pre-flash with the correct firmware. But for those of you that already have an Ender 3 or an Ender 3 Pro and all you're purchasing is the screen, if you already have the motherboard, I'm going to link down in the description for that firmware and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So what you're going to do, guys, is once you follow the link to Google Drive that I'm going to post down in the description, you're going to have all of your firmware right here. So let's say that you have an Ender 3 
uh, version 2 screen with a BL touch, you're going to use this version right here, the 4.2.7 Ender 3 Pro with BL touch V2 screen. That's what that V2 stands for. There's going to be one for the Ender 3 Pro with only BL touch with the factory screen. There's going to be one for the Ender 3 Pro BL touch version 2 screen and a runout sensor and so on. Now again, if you have a regular Ender 3 non-pro version, or if you have an Ender 5, you will have to make your own firmware. I'm more than willing to help you guys do that, but you'll have to make your own firmware yourself. Um, so what we're going to do for this instance is we're just going to download the 4.2.7 Ender 3 Pro version 2 screen with BL Touch, which I already have right here. So once you have that downloaded, it's going to show up into your downloads right here. Now my SD card for my 3D printer is right here and you see I already have a firmware code in here so first thing I'm going to want to do is delete this firmware because you cannot have both firmwares in there or it will not flash. So then we're going to take our uh, bin file right here, the Ender 3 uh, Pro version 2 with BL Touch, and we're just going to drag it and drop it into our SD card. We're going to insert that into our printer, and then it's going to flash. So now that the firmware has been rewritten and our screen has been installed, let's go ahead and power this thing up and see if everything works like it's supposed to. And it just flashed new firmware and we're good to go. So I now have all the benefits of the new upgraded screen that's for the Ender 3 Pro version 2 on my regular Ender 3 Pro. So if you guys have an Ender 3 non-Pro and or an Ender 5, you're going to have to write your own firmware. I do plan on working on firmware for both of these in the future. I just haven't have had time as of lately. So let's say, for instance, you already have the 4.2.7 silent board working on your machine and you want to add the Ender 3 Pro V2 color screen to your printer. Again, you will need to write your own firmware. So until next time, you guys take it easy and keep on printing.